What's up everybody? Eric here and as you can see I have Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest loaded up. I'm going to attempt a speed run. That's right. Uh, reason being you can complete the game within seven in-game days. You get the best ending and we're going to see if we can't do that. So let's get this game uh, started. <laughs> Alright first things first. We got to buy some holy water. It is over here. And uh, after that, we'll come back and buy the white crystal from the dude outside. But first, we are going to need to gather up a boat ton of hearts. Want to buy holy water? I think so. Alright, now we are going to equip the holy water. And move on. This is the white crystal guy right here. We'll talk to him in a minute. Now, we're not going to talk to anybody else because... Pretty much everybody in this game lies or gives you crap advice. So we're going to avoid them. Now this is the Jova Woods. That was the town of Jova. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go back and forth killing shit and attempting to gather as many hearts as we can. Alright, go back here. Make sure the skeleton appears. Get the werewolf as well. As you can see, <clears throat> when an enemy is uh, spawned, its shape kind of flickers on the side of the screen there. This is how I know they're available to die. So I can turn around immediately and proceed to killing. Now, uh, in Jova, there's also a thorn whip available for 100 hearts, but we are going to avoid that because it's pointless. In the next town over, Viros, we can get the Chain Whip for 150, thus saving us time. Precious time. What a horrible night to have a curse. Okay, here we go. Night number one. We are ready to go. Let's see. We got 24 hearts. We are at 12 experience. Heart production is going to increase big time now. Whoop. That happens occasionally. As you can see, the enemies get stronger, but that's okay. The Belmont family is into S&M. They're a bunch of sadists. So uh, the whip just has to crack a little faster. That's all there is to it. There we go. Breaking in the hearts now, baby. Woohoo! I find it funny that whipping stuff results in hearts. Yeah, combining my talents. Keep them at whip's length, baby. <laughs> All right, quick time and heart check, 76 hearts. We have more than enough to buy the um, white crystal, but we want more because um, the overage is going to help us uh, getting to the next town, Viros, and buying the dagger and the, thor or the chain whip. That's the two things we want in Viros. Once we get those, we will head to the first mansion, which is Berkeley Mansion. Where we will recover the first of the pieces of Dracula, which is, I believe, Dracula's bone. Dracula's rib bone, which can be used as a shield, interestingly enough. If you stand still while you have it equipped, it'll deflect projectiles. Time check, 101, 92 hearts, not bad. Uh, 
All right, working it now. Time check, 103.51, 112 hearts. Of course, uh, daylight will come here soon. Okay, we're going to have to do a little wacky maneuver in here. 132, not bad. Daylight is almost upon us. So we are going to, there it is. We're going to head back to town. Pick ourselves a white crystal. And then we are going to continue on through the Jova Woods to my next heart collection spot. Thankfully, we minimized the damage we took, so stopping in a church isn't really all that necessary. We've got our white crystal, and we are ready to move on. All right. All right, here we are at the bridge. We have achieved the next level, so getting experience is no longer an issue. All right, second part of Jova Woods. Here we are. Now we need to pick up 150 hearts. Now if I do this right, yeah, there we go. I should just meet a massive army of skeletons. See where we're at here. 126. We're almost where we need to be. Should be nighttime soon. Forty-six. Hmm. It may be worth it to try and make a break for town. Okay, that's the, uh, dagger section there. We want to continue past the church. Hopefully we can get into this building by nightfall. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hustle, 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 hustle. Come on. Oh yeah. Flip the holy water. We made it. Chain whip, you better believe it, buddy. Now that's going to be some awesome whipping right there. <laughs> yeah. Just jump off. All right, now to the right of town is nothing Im important. So we are just going to continue backwards here. Yeah. <laughs> whipping. Whipping good. 
Get that? Alright. Yeah, we don't want to go to Dobby's Path, which is on the other side of town. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and uh, come back for the dagger in a bit. As you can see, skeleton weapon is much easier. Woohoo! What kind of hearts are we looking at? 32? Let's, you know what, let's go to Berkeley Mansion. Because by the time we get there and finish off the interior, it should be a... Uh, even a fire. Oop. Oop. Uh oh. <clears throat> we don't want to do that again. <laughs> All right, we made it. Now over here should be Berkeley Mansion. Yes, sir. Okay. So as you can see, holding the white crystal shows me that there is stuff uh, going on. Now watch this. Oop, we want to make sure it's going up. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Thankfully inside the mansion, time is not a factor. Oop, that was dumb. We gotta deal with this guy here somehow. We're gonna call this guy the Trident Guy. There we go, we got him. Alright, up and over. Now, as you can see, we have to watch out for false floors in this mansion. So I'm going to be tossing these uh, every once in a while. We got slimes here, apparently. Nasty little buggers. Demons there. Ooh, full hearts. Also, if we watch the enemies, they will stop for false floors. Oh, there we go, see? Bit of false floor action right there. Good thing we got those timed out. Alright. Jumped right off. Ooh, look at all these skeletons. Give me a good haul right here. All right, now. There we go.
No more false floor action. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to get over to that dude over there. And I'm willing to bet... Nope, we're going to have to go the long way to get to him. That dude sells us the uh, steak, which we use in that room right there with the nasty looking skeletons and stuff in it. Alright, we're good here. Now we just need to get over the spikes to that guy. Yep, we're gonna buy one oak steak. Where's my heart set? 76? Okay, we'll wait until after I finish this bit of the castle to uh, <coughs> jack up my heart stuffs. I will do that off camera, I think, so as to prevent you all from having to watch. I think there's a clue book right here. Yep. A flame flickers inside the Ring of Fire. I wonder if that, that's a reference to June Carter Cash. Ah, uh, yeah. That was a terrible joke, I know, but hey, I'm known for my terrible jokes. Alright, now let's see here. Any false floor action? Yes, sir, right there. So, right up and over we go. Is there another clue book right there? Nope. Okay. There are three in this mansion, but we're not going to worry about them. There we go. Prozess. Look at that. You now possess Dracula's rib. Isn't that nifty? Alright, so we are out of the wooden stake. Here's the white crystal. See, now we have a shield. In the Japanese version, it's like... an actual, like, bone. But here, it's a shield. So, which is kind of weird. False floor right there, baby. We aren't gonna be fooled. So yeah, we got uh, Dracula's rib. Almost two days into it, though. That's not good. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short here, and I'm gonna continue on. And we will reconvene for the next episode once we get outside of Berkeley Mansion and then we will move on to the next phase of the game which should be lots of fun I uh, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, like and subscribe if you wanna you know I got plenty more videos I got lots of Minecraft happening so alright I'll see you guys next time later